I think I'm feeling a bit blue for this review today. Places by Jennifer Niven. The feels with this read. It was one of those books that was very serious at the same time, really hilarious. It's just like the fault in our stars for me. It was a winner. I'm just gonna jump in and tell you straight away what this book's about. This book is told from two perspectives. Firstly, we have the main guy character. Theodore Finch. We call him Finch for short in this book, so he does have a bit of a nickname. Finch has just been planning to take his own life forever. He's kind of like his own little mastermind. He always tries and creates situations where he could die. He's a little bit of an outsider uh, at his school. He doesn't really know necessarily who he really is. Basically, he's very broken and kind of upsetting that no one really seems to notice. And the book's also told from the point of view of the main female character, Violet. Violet, you could say before this book, like if this book had a prequel, was a positive, outgoing person, but that soon changes when her sister dies. After that, she's planning to take her own life. She feels so down that one day she is on the ledge of the school bell tower, and that is where both the two characters meet. And you could say that opposites attract in this book. Then on the two characters are teamed up for this project that they have to do. That's why it's called All the Right Places because they kind of go out and explore uh, some wonders in their area. Peach and Violet both change each other's worlds. It is so beautiful to see these characters throughout the book as they grow as individuals and together. As bright as this book may seem, um, it does deal with a serious issue and that is teen suicide. I really like how at the end the book included where to get help if you live in Australia or New Zealand. At the end of the day, teen suicide is a very serious issue. I am actually glad that a book addresses it. And the way the author actually addresses this issue in the book is very, very well done. This is also though, as well as deals with that, like I said before, a very humorous and lighthearted read. I would recommend it for those people that really like those contemporary books. That is all I can say without really spoiling this book. If you sound interested, make sure to go pick this book up and then go read it and then come back and tell me what you thought about it. That is the end for the non-spoiler section. If you don't want to be spoiled, click out. Let's talk this book. Firstly, Finch, you think I'm the fault in our stars? I would like not get attached to characters that are most likely gonna die. He dies. What? Finch for me, I found him very cold. You know, I did like his humor at times. If he was like here in real life, I don't think I uh, personally I would get along with him. You know, as a character to read, I really like him. However, I found myself strangely attracted to him in this book. His personality really grew on me. And I didn't expect that to. This book did remind me of Fault in Our Stars. Fault in Our Stars, Gus uh, telling Hazel how to live life and see things for what they are. And then the same thing was kind of with Theodore. I loved how he changed Violet's whole perspective on the world. It was really sad, and I'm just going to say it, that their love story was cut short. Anyway, enough about the serious stuff, let's just talk about the book. So it starts off, we are at the school bell tower. I am just thinking, you know, here you have Theodore kind of off the ledge in a sense, and then you have Violet off the ledge in a sense. Where is school security here? <laughs> Wouldn't they be like, oh my god, the kids are like up there, they're going to literally jump. School security? No. Okay. I love how Theodore, um, when he sees Violet, just is talking and talking and yapping and yapping and Theodore just tends to do that all the time and Violet's just like <laughs> Violet, Violet, Violet. I think maybe she shouldn't have been so caught up in her sister's death. I can understand how she would have felt, um, especially because she had a really close relationship with her sister, but I didn't see the need for her to, you know, go to that extent, to put herself in harm's way. I love how at the very end she's able to regain her confidence, come back within herself, put away those glasses, and just live. Do you think it's cute what Theodore kind of did for her? He set up his own Facebook page and just friended her. I loved it. So it was really cute how he would just like randomly just show up at her house and she'd be like, I really did love also the places that they ended up going to. One of my favourites was that like bookmobile park. I really loved the fact that in every place they went to, they had to leave something behind. In a way, I felt like there was a lot of secret messages in this book. And that leaving behind made me think about the author is secretly telling you what do you want to leave behind? How do you want to be remembered? Do you know when they say that a lot of how you are as a person, your personality, the way you see the world is a result of how you were brought up by your family? Lynch in this book, uh, in a way, deals with a lot of family issues. I was very, very mad at his mum and how his mum only saw 
what he had been going through at the end of the book. How she was completely oblivious to him. I know that she had to work and bringing up kids and everything. If your son was going through that, you'd want to be there for him and kind of coax him out of it. Also his dad, how his dad hurt him. I can see why Finch maybe turned out to be the way he did. Finch and Violet as a couple, you know, they're a very unlikely pair. You can see how Theodore is helping Violet change herself. I don't completely ship the two, but then I don't completely not ship the two. Loved are the moments when the two of them ended up sleeping on top of the car, but I hated what came as a result of that. I felt as if Violet's parents really overreacted. In a way, is your daughter dead? Did she get safely home? No and yes. I think I should, kind of should have slowed down a bit and maybe listened to their daughter. Maybe if the parents didn't overreact a lot. Maybe it was another kind of pointer into Finch getting more stressed about his life. Violet should have just told her parents from the beginning how Finch was as a person. Wasn't it cute though when Finch like ran all that way to get her flowers? Ah! Pascal, do that for me. <laughs> nah, he already has kind of done that before. Finch then soon ends up locking himself away in his closet and for his birthday he kind of puts all the stars up. Just end up going from good to bad really really quickly. I didn't realise that this was the last conversation between these two characters. I was just waiting, you know, for Violet to see Finch again and that was like the last time they kind of saw each other. And that put a real hole in my heart. Any conversation you have with anyone could be your last conversation with them. Do you want to end that conversation in a positive note? Or a negative note. Finch then kind of leaves Violet all these clues and she ends up working them out and doesn't end up realizing what's going on till the very end of the book. Finch ends up drowning himself. Found it kind of beautiful in a way what he did, how he was leaving her all these clues, you know, that paintball and in the church and here and there and the shoes on the tree. And ah! At the same time, I was like, this is horrible. I, in some ways, maybe wanted Finch to be alive. Uh, the author probably did this because she really wanted to create awareness for people that do feel suicidal or do suffer depression. I guess at the very end, we are thankful that Violet has found her happy place. She's in the bright place. This was an amazing book. I highly enjoy it. I probably rated a four and a half out of five. What did you think about this book? Comment down below and tell me your thoughts. Thank you for tuning in to my mini review on all the bright places. I am Miranda. Thank you so much for watching. See